What up? It's your boy NWP, and today we're going to be talking about LMGs and how they're still overpowered as hell. But happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you guys had an awesome holiday and had lots of good food to eat. But before we get started with today's video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, check the link in the description there's a giveaway for fifty dollars your favorite gaming currency get your v bucks get your cod points i won't judge you so yeah for the last i don't know week or so people have been really complaining about the black market and how it's more or less a ripoff in call of duty black ops 4 and maybe it is a ripoff but i don't really purchase nor plan to purchase COD points myself. The store in Overwatch, or sorry, Overwatch, what am I talking about? Fortnite? The store in Fortnite is actually a ripoff as well. It's a, <clears throat> it's a terrible ripoff. The characters, however, are much more interesting. And uh, considering <clears throat> there is only a couple characters in um, Black Ops 4 that I even think look good, they would have to do some substantial changing than just giving me some kind of details to my character that look, a, you know, don't don't retexture the skin <clears throat> and then hand it to me. Uh, you know, like, basically, it's the same exact outfit with a different spray paint, you know, design on it. So that's not big enough for me. Um... But we're not really going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about LMGs and how they're like a brick wall. And it, it almost seems like Treyarch doesn't know what to do. We've seen multiple changes to LMGs. And, and more specifically, the Titan. But the Titan still, with FMJ2, can knock streaks out of the sky relatively quickly. To the point of, like, faster than a rocket launcher. So it's obviously not like just blowing them up instantaneously, but it's still kind of uh, ridiculous that a, a gun would beat taking aerial, you know, it would beat a rocket launcher or taking down streaks. But then again, the rocket launchers don't even kill people very well, and that's kind of weird because it's a rocket launcher. So, well, it. I don't know if the problem stems directly from the weapon that itself or if it stems from their decision to make health a baseline. And and that also kind of confuses me as to what they had it before. What was the design for health before? Was it we didn't have a specific health? We had how did how did this work exactly? I'm not sure. It makes me more confused on their design of health than ever before. But what I do know is that an LMG, it, I guess and in some cases, if it was a full, very large bullet, it should be able to kill people very quickly. But as, as I can tell, the Titan is a 7.62 in the game, which means it basically... It doesn't matter. It's gonna. It, it, it's a piece of lead, a certain size, that basically can travel a maximum velocity, so it can do a maximum amount of damage, and that's about it. So the Titan shouldn't be any more powerful than, say, the Rampart, except for that it can continuously fire longer because it has more ammunition. The problem is, is that's not the way it feels. These guns can, like, two-tap people when every other gun is a four-tap or a three-tap in the case of, like, a Rampart or an Augur. So if everything is a four-tap but LMGs, what was the, de the design philosophy? Because even if you, you know, made it so that it just took the streaks down faster and it was, like, a basically, uh, you know, equal to every other gun right now, why... Would you would it need to do this much damage to players? Is the question. So, I'm not 100% sure on why they've 
chosen the route that they've chosen with these type of weaponry and uh, as you can see <laughs> like it doesn't matter Firebreak is overpowered in Nuketown if you guys haven't caught caught on to that one I'm gonna go ahead and put the link up right now and you can check it out with that by clicking the card in the top right uh, see how overpowered Firebreak really is in Nuketown but what do you guys think about LMGs are they overpowered do you do you think it's necessary? Do you think that they've become so over... Uh, so, Are they not overpowered to the point of, like, you know, uh, that I'm just crazy, you know? Or are they overpowered in the sense that you you absolutely need to have at least one person on your team with one? Which, may, you know, is like real life in a sense, but it, this isn't real life. This is a video game. So, I have kind of stated my opinion here. I don't think they're they're functioning as they should be. But... It's up to you to decide, guys. Drop it in the comments below. That does it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a 49-kill TDM gameplay for TDM 100. But as always, have a good one.